are some of the difficulties of adapting such a classic hymn? What are some of the difficulties? Mm. Um, I've done a couple of adaptations, quite a few adaptations before. Uh, one of them was equally taking a classic, which was in this case Pride and Prejudice, and completely turning it on its head. And I think the one thing that you need to do is remain as faithful as possible to the source material whilst staying really determined and strong and clear on your take on it. And I think we've certainly done that because, I mean, we've got the Headless Horseman and Ichabod Crane, but more importantly, we were brave and positive and had belief in our version of it. I think that's probably the hardest thing, is, is don't do anything by half. And this show certainly doesn't do anything by half. Long story short, make it your own. And it's no longer a classic tale. It's like, it's ours. It's a current tale. He's from the past, but she's from the present, and we're living in the current world, like fighting these things that affect everybody. And somehow the past and the future or the current time all like commence and turn into this like a massive thing that people seem to be enjoying. We can expect for the town to expand. I think we have more characters and there are more obstacles and uh, more helpers as well. We've uh, they've added two additional um, characters to the ensemble. And aside from that, I think we have more. Um, we have a few more monsters coming on board. Yeah, I think if you make a list of all of the things that you liked about season one, about the characters and the monsters and the dilemmas and the trauma, uh, it's all of that multiplied. I mean, we left the last season on such a high, and this season starts from that point to everything builds. The first episode of the second season picks up an, an instant after the finale ended. So the level that it was left at, that's our starting point.